Iga Swiatek, the world number one, taking on Jessica Pagula in the U.S. Open quarterfinal. Guys, this is going to be a great quarterfinal. I can't wait to watch it later tonight. And in today's video, I'm going to give you guys the official prediction for this matchup. But before I do, I just want to remind everybody out there who's watching, please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. This way you'll get continued coverage of this year's U.S. Open. All right, guys. So... For the prediction, I'm not going to make you guys wait. I'm going to give it to you guys off the bat before I do a little bit of a breakdown. And I am going to say, guys, I am not confident in giving you this prediction, but I'm going to stay with what I know, and that is that Iga Swiatek is the world number one. She's very talented. She's been the best player on tour all year long. So therefore, I'm going with Iga Swiatek in this matchup, not to mention, too, that Swiatek hasn't lost a set in this year's U.S. Open. But here's the thing, guys. I will say, the reason why I'm not sure about it is because of how good Jessica Pagula has looked recently. You can make the case for Pagula, and I honestly wouldn't even question you on it. Because Pagula, remember, she won the Canadian Open, looked very good in that tournament, made it to the finals of the uh, Cincinnati Open, in which she lost to Irena Sabalenka in that matchup there in the finals. That was a very good showing by Pagula, back-to-back -back tournaments. Now following it up with a very strong U.S. Open so far. Now, guys, I want to flash back to the WTA finals at the end of 2023. Pagula had beaten Sabalenka in a matchup there, and everybody was shocked, like, whoa, Pagula, where'd this come from? And she said, she's like, Guys, my power game is very underrated. People don't think I have a power game. I absolutely have the power game to swing with the best of them here. And that's the thing here, guys. We don't appreciate Pagula's power game, and she has the power game to give Shiantek problems. Remember, the two things that Shiantek really struggles with, when people have really big power games and they play at a quick pace. Pagula could absolutely do that here. So if I'm Pagula, what I'm really looking out for is Obviously, can you use the power game to keep Shiantek back by the baseline? Because, again, we know when you hit a ball weakly back and Shiantek steps above that baseline and rips one back at you, forget about it. But if she could keep her back on the baseline, if she could maybe force some unforced out, uh, unforced errors out of Iga Shiantek, that could definitely help for Pagula. But now on the other side, you have Iga Shiantek, again, the best player on tour. She hasn't dropped a set during this year's U.S. Open and that return game just seems to be getting better and better and better each match up here in this year's U.S. Open. Now, also, guys, the last time we saw this was in the WTA Finals uh, last year, late in 2023, and Sviantec dominated that matchup. So this one should be interesting here tonight. This is a very good matchup. It's going to be a very strategic matchup. Who's going to win the big points? And again, from time and time again, we've seen it where that would obviously favor Iga Swiatek over Jessica Pugula. So we'll see how it all plays out here in this year's U.S. Open. Again, the official pick, I'm going with Iga Swiatek to win this one in the quarterfinals.